Jordan, Magic, Barkley, el Dream Team, imagínese cómo se sentiría enfrentarlos. Pues en el año 92, le tocaría al equipo Cuba, hacer su mejor papel contra ese monstruo invencible. La mayoría de los jugadores cubanos lucieron nerviosos, intimidados y completamente superados, lo cual es entendible. El único que no luciría tan mal, sería Leonardo Maravilla Pérez. El lobo mayor, que fue guardeado por nada menos que Michael Jordan y Clyde Drexler, terminaría el juego con 13 puntos. Aquí algunos de los mejores momentos del número 10. Eliezer Rojas. The shot once he you know, gets the opportunity. Nice fake by Perez. Leonardo Perez. Who had 22 points last night on the win over the Canadian team. 20 of his 22. And back comes Abreu. Here's Perez. Leonardo Perez. Cuba's best all-around scorer. He averaged 21 points at the uh, Pan American Games. Mullen for three. And back comes Perez. Finding Diaz. 12 points. Back in uh, 88, U.S. walloping Egypt by a pretty good margin. That 56 team included Bill Russell, And Casey Jones. Perez. So the United States leads now 88 to 32. Six minutes gone by. 8.20 remaining in the game. And the U.S. leading 108-41. Jordan off the fake. Michael Jordan with a spectacular move. Going to a second option. And the U.S. lead 1-10. To 41. Morales crushed. Look out. Well, Michael was determined to make something happen here to get their crowd a little bit more involved than they've been. So, how about a little double clutch pull it away from the defensive man and kiss it off the rim and backboard? Jordan with the pullback, the concentration, elude the defense, and Knock it down. And play, and um, it, I think this is going to be great, not only for basketball worldwide, but I think the NBA fans would love to see something like this, and that's why everyone's so excited about this team. And that's why we're here watching, too, isn't we? <laughs> well, we've been asleep for a while now. <laughs> Jerry, thanks a lot. Back to you, Mark. All right, about Jerry West, the general manager of the Los Angeles Lakers. Seven and a half remaining. In the game of the United States with a 110-43 lead. And the U.S. showing a little zone defense right here, working on some of the things that Chuck was able to put in in practice yesterday for the first time. A U.S. zone defense. He had to put it in because he had to work against it. Leonardo Perez hitting a three-pointer. Patrick Johnson able to come right back. Excited about representing their country. And for the first time, we ever had our pro team pitted against uh, the other country's pros. So... Oh, it's very, very exciting. I don't really see any competition at all. Well, I, I tend to agree with you. I want to thank you, Jojo. Oh, back to you, Marvin. Yes. All right, Quinn, Jojo White, one time Boston Celtics star. I realize that uh, Scotty is a terrific player, but as you know, Mike, when you see guys firsthand in practice, sometimes you get a, a better appreciation of the all around skills. A, a much greater appreciation when you're with them every day in practice and you see how hard they come to play in a meaningless situation. Practice, other than you know, conditioning and getting this stuff down. But Chuck, a big fan of Sky Pippen. Felix Morales showing us the left hand pop. The United States leading 118 49. They led 67-27 at halftime. Bird from Pippen. This is all just playing right now. The, the structure part of it is gone. They're playing smart basketball, uh, freedom to move on their own and play in the half-court offense. That time, a little back pick and then move to the basket wide open and then the look and pass, the conversion factor. Well, Perez showing that shooting touch that we talked about earlier. That's a three-pointer, his third of the game. He now has 13. 